Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at CM13, specifically CM13 on our Honor 8. Let's check it out. Before we get into the actual CM build and how it looks and feels on our Honor 8, I want to give you guys a couple of prerequisites to what you need to do. Based on the that last video that I did for you guys where I showed you how to install Twerp, get it rooted, um, we need to do a couple more things. First thing is we need to update the Twerp recovery. So the one I showed you guys in the last video unfortunately doesn't not work correctly with this version of CM. The link in the description for this video will give you an updated Twerp. Install this over the one that you have by just going back into fast boot mode, installing Twerp and booting back into recovery. And when you're prompted, just hit cancel if it's asking you to put a password and then allow uh, read and write on it so that you're able to modify the system. After that, simple. Do a factory reset under the wipe option within Twerp and that's pretty much it. Uh, the main thing you want to make sure is that the reboot, the first boot is going to take us some time and once you're through that you'll be able to access and use the CM build. First thing you'll notice is the lock screen. I am connected to AT&T and I'm getting LTE. I've already kind of, uh, kind of put in some mods in here. Let's go ahead and turn on the screen. Uh, we'll have straight again. This is the CM13 build. I'm running the Trebuchet uh, launcher. You do have the ability of using Google Now launcher if you choose to. Uh, app drawer again very very reminiscent and again we are running android 6.0.1 over uh, let's go ahead and bring it up 6.0.1 cm13 the build is 2016 11 14 unofficial um, and again this is running the honor 8 us version the l04 model uh, the play store is present we're able to update our application install applications unfortunately we are not able to uninstall applications at this point as this will cause us to reboot also we have some issues with some applications for closing for example right here i launched the camera it didn't start up the first time but it does work again uh, we don't have the huawei uh, camera app so we're not using both lenses in the back we're using just uh, sorry it's black because it's sitting on the table we're using just the standard uh, camera app and hopefully in the near future we'll be able to port either the p9 or the honor 8's camera directly here and to be able to get the full benefit of it uh, i installed a, a full version of gaps to basically see which ones work which ones don't work uh, as far as customizations, anything that you're normally used to seeing within CM, um, as far as the ability to customize the status bar, the buttons, uh, all of these things that you'll get are all present here. Sound, display, you have theme support, you'll be able to update and change themes. Like right now I have the standard one, I can go in, hit apply. I downloaded this directly from the Play Store. This is just a glass theme and it'll get us back where I need it to be. Uh, and again, you notice how it's to see through, you can see through it here notifications, lock screen customizations, of course, um, all the things that we're normally used to. Buttons, you can actually customize the buttons, edit them, change them, even give the ability to, to do more functionalities with the power button. Um, security, memory, currently I'm running at 1.3 gigs, 2.3 gigs are available, definitely very nice, light on the memory usage, It'll always you know, very nice to have more RAM available. Uh, system profiles, of course, users, memory, status bar customizations. As you noticed, I changed it to a circle battery with the percentage inside. You can change AM, PM, battery styles, all the good things. Um, and of course, you have the ability of changing the slider up there to be able to change the brightness level. Uh, apps, of course, uh, accounts, Google privacy, and then, you know, we have the ability of going here. We have uh, privacy guard and then cyanogen not statistics sitting in here. And weather information, accessibility, storage, language, backup. Um, and when I when you go into the we'll go back here we'll go into the developer option and I'm hopefully you can see this uh, but root is automatically turned on within CM build so you don't have to worry about installing root if you like to use SuperSue you can install it and then give it permission meaning give it root permission to be able to manage the accounts and then disable this one so you don't have two applications trying to confirm your root access other than that we're looking at a very pretty much almost 100% I'd say other than the fact that a um, we don't have the ability of using any kind of browser anything. I've even tried Firefox, Chrome, anything as far as a web browser, it does not work. Um, something to do with the way the build is put together, but I hope this will be fixed in the next update. Um, we don't have fingerprint sensing. Uh, fingerprint sensor in the back is not functional, so all the customizations we're used to seeing from there are not present yet. Uh, the other thing, of course, is we don't have NFC. But in the list of things that don't work, will this work for you on a day, uh, for like a day or so to test it out? Definitely. Text messaging calls, calls sound, we're pretty good. I'm able to get in the LTE on T-Mobile and AT&T, as you guys could see very well. And the fact that we have theme customization is definitely something to check out and it looks very, very promising. I'm definitely very excited about having CM on our device. The ability to try a ROM that is different than the EMUI. I'm not saying EMUI is bad, but it's not for everybody. But CM at least gives you the ability of customizing your experience 
to the level that you'd like to use it. Um, you have customizations up the wazoo there. And the other thing that you also have is the ability to be able to install Expose on this and even customize it to a much greater level. As more modules will be compatible with the CM build than they were with the EMUI because this is closer to stock. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I want to say thank you very much to the developer for providing us a beta copy to be able to test out on our devices. Again, just follow the steps that I showed you guys in the last video to update Twerp, install CM, enjoy it. If you're not happy with it and you want to go back to EMUI, just restore your, stock, your, your old build and you'll be fine. This is TK. Thank you very much. Like and subscribe to this channel. Like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.